tonight we are holding an open house. The doors of Blaine City Hall are open every day to residents, but this week the city staff worked to put on an inviting and engaging event for all ages. As a part of the city's year-long celebration of its 50th anniversary, the first true open house was held at City Hall since the building first opened in 2004. The event was well received by those in attendance. Well, for the kids, it's to dress up as a police officer, a firefighter, and to have the ice cream. The adults are really enjoying a lot of the information we have to hand out, and we're teaching them about government in a fun way. Uh, the voting's been popular. Um, to meet the mayor and our chiefs and to get a lot of safety information we have too. And of course, the most popular thing is touring the police department. Another popular part of the event was the fire sprinkler demo trailer, where firefighters gave a real life demonstration of the difference having a residential sprinkler system can make. Okay, fire is lit. You'll hear the smoke detector activate real quickly here. So 19 seconds, the yeah, smoke detector activated. And just that quickly, a residential sprinkler can save your life by putting that fire out. With Blaine growing so quickly as a community over the last decade, events like this are important to help bring residents together. When I first started in Blaine, we were a community of about 40,000 people. It was more of a small town. Now we are about 65,000 people. And when you have a city that large, it's easy to get lost in the city and it's easy to feel disconnected. So we want to have events where we connect people to their government, people to their city. Um, the neighborhoods are pretty spread out. They're, you know, they're not an inner city neighborhood where there's a cohesive group. So we're really trying to build community, get neighbors to know each other. Four students who won a citywide essay contest shared their reflections on Blaine and also looked into the future to imagine where Blaine will be 25 years from now. Not only do residents have a diverse shopping market, but they also enjoy $4,162 per capita, more than the average U.S. citizen. Currently, Blaine is a strong city. However, in 25 years, Blaine will also be a kinder community. The employment rate is 94.8%, which is a healthy sign for the city. Having a job or career opens the door for more opportunities. In 25 years, the city will have will have more people and places. The National Sports Center will become bigger and have more sporting events. Blaine will be a place for kids and adults to be healthier and happier. The city is not done celebrating the 50th anniversary. Actually, they are really just getting started. We are about halfway through, a little less than halfway through our celebration. <laughs> Our next event after this is World Fest. We'll have a booth out at World Fest and there'll be a selfie station there with hats from around the world. So that's what the 50th Celebration Committee will sponsor. And then we'll also continue it with our Blaine Wetland Sanctuary opening. That will be on May 30th. And then we're gonna continue through the summer. We're gonna have a presence at the Blaine Festival. We're sponsoring the Civic Tent. And that's not all. And we're also gonna do a 50 park challenge. We have about 63 parks in Blaine and we're gonna do a 50 park challenge where we're gonna ask you a question out of a park and you gotta figure out which park it is. And we'll have cash prizes for the winners. We're also gonna have, a, this is an event we're working on, it's on August 11th. It's going to be, we're looking at a picnic concert out at Aquator Park, um, keeping it as low cost or free if we can, bringing back, back to the 1960s and bringing back some 1960s games and some music and some food. And then we are going to end it with another December 3rd event. So we still have about five events to go here. So we're not done. Residents of Blaine and surrounding communities are always welcome to drop in at City Hall to learn more about how the city operates. But just don't expect free ice cream every time you stop by. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.